Belle Knox was a student at Duke when she was outed as an aspiring porn star. Knox, her nom de porn, went on the website ExoJane to explain and started a larger discussion about morality, hypocrisy, and of all things, the skyrocketing cost of college. Thanks for being here. Hi, it's good to be here. So let's talk about Duke first. What do you think about their three seed in the NCAA tournament? Uh, it's great. It's wrong. They were robbed. They should have been a two. Oh, so I, you see, I'm not like super versed in like basketball. You know what I mean? You know that's okay. All I have to say you've is, got other stuff going. All I on. have to say is go Duke. Go Duke. Go Blue Devils. Go Blue Devils. That's okay. All I have to say. <laughs> so, are you still enrolled at Duke? Yes, I am. I and, am. And when was the last time you were actually on campus? Um, I was on campus about uh, two weeks ago, and then it was spring break. But um, it, basically, it was just uh, too stressful for me to be on campus. I didn't. I felt that in the midst of all of this attention, it was not safe for me to be there at the time. What do you mean not safe? Are you getting threats? I uh, yes, I was getting, and I am still getting um, death threats. Um, I've had people threaten to throw trash on me. I've had people tell me. I to saw throw those wrists. tweets. Yes, yes, they were awful. Um, so, safe. It's safe to say then that you're not being treated very well on campus since you came out as a porn star? I'm, no, it's, um, it's a hostile, it's an unwelcoming, it's kind of an unsafe environment, but I do have a lot of friends, and I have support from, like, you know, the LGBTQ community. Right. Um, so, I mean, I have my friends, I'm not all alone there, but um, overall, there's definitely a very hostile um, vibe that I get from there. And is it there. different from, from men to women as to how you're being treated? Um, I would say that uh, I think that women resent me more, hmm. um, but I do get a lot of like the slut shaming from guys. Right. Yeah, I've seen those tweets as well. Yeah, but the the other thing is um, Duke. You know, we're we're a place of a lot of you know kind of the higher discussion. You know, and um, you know like any college. And, right. Um, I have had a lot of critique come from come to me from um, kind of the anti-porn feminists of Duke. Sure, um, that's another faction And out there. sometimes, you know, there, there's a way to, you know, get your point out there. And, you know, I totally appreciate opinions. People, I love when people, you know, can, you know, argue with me right. or whatever. But there's a way to do it without attacking my personal character. Now, the guy who outed you is also getting harassed now and getting his own share of death threats. Is karma? No, it's, no. it's not. It's not acceptable that he's being harassed. Um, I've actually, I, I've actually um, released kind of a plea for my fans to stop harassing him. Oh, that's nice of you. Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, he's a good person. He's, he's kind mistake. of come out and said, "I'm sorry, I ever did this." What yeah, you know, he um, he apologized for it. Um, at the end of the day, it's between me and him, and it's something we need. You know, I need to. You know, I, I've reached a place in my life where I forgive him for what happened. Right. But um, yeah, I, I don't want him to be harassed. So the reason that you got into porn is because Duke was very expensive. Do you ever wish you just went to a cheaper school? Um, yeah. You know, sometimes I actually do. Um, and, you know, I think that if I could give an advice to any person who was choosing college, I would honestly advise you, them to go to a better school, you know, or, or I mean, mean to go to a, right. a cheaper school, you know what I mean? Because um, I'm not just, that's not to say I regret going to Duke, but I think that, um, the benefits of not being in debt far outweigh, you know, any benefits it has of, you know, maybe going to a better school. So how do you get from, wow, school's expensive to, I know, I'll do porn to pay for it? How did you make that leap? Right. Well, um, school is expensive and my parents, you know, tried to pay it for the first month or two, but, you know, it's a bill of about, you know, $4,300 a month. And, you know, that's, that's usually, that's like, twice a normal person's mortgage. Right, right. And I think I was reading somewhere that um, Duke's tuition, $60,000, that's like, what is it? That's 53% higher than the average medium sure. income. That could be totally wrong, but... Um, right, you could have you could have gone to a lot cheaper school if you would have stayed in state or gone to a community college. Well, the fact of the matter is the tuition's just way too high, and it's, it's like right, an Right, that's across the country. Though. Right. But you had to know that when you were going there that, you know, my folks could pay this, they can pay that. Right, but I'm you I'm going to have to figure something out. So how do you get from that to... You know, I know, uh, I'll go on the line and figure out, you know, if I can pay for this doing porn. Right, well, I did look into other options. You, you know, I, I looked into government financial, uh, government loans, but right. I got caught in a bind that so many upper class, upper middle class and middle class students get caught in where on paper we make so much money that we're not, you know, eligible for all of these benefits. Sure. 
but in reality, our families can't pay $60,000 in tuition each year. Right, they'd have to sell their homes right. and do all sorts of crazy stuff. So I was not eligible for any government loans. The only loans I was eligible for were um, private, you know, 11% interest loans, which right. my parents would have to sign off on. And um, I was not prepared or willing as an 18-year-old um, young woman to take on that much debt, settle right. my parents with debt. Um, I always knew that sex work was a very lucrative business, and I could tell just by kind of looking around, you know, on Craigslist and things like that. But it wasn't until I, you know, really Googled how to be a porn star that, you know, all these agencies showed up. I see. Yeah. So how much, how many videos have you made and how much money have you made? Um, I've made 25 to 30, between 25 to 30 videos. Right. Um, and I've, at the rate I'm going, I've made enough to pay for this a uh, year. To pay for a year. Yeah. So how many views have those well, videos Well, at the rate got? that I'm going, you know sure. what I mean? Sure. Well, now that you're kind of known, has your rate gone up? You must be, um, you must command a higher fee at this point. Yeah, I think that my rate probably has gone up and I probably can ask for more money. Now, there are also porn companies that are run by women. Have you ever thought about working for those? Some of the oh, yeah, totally. I would love to. Um, would that make a difference as far as uh, as far as the politics of it all? Um, not necessarily. You know, I think that uh, a lot of the, well, a lot of the reason people object to porn is they say there's not a lot of women involved in it, and I think that yeah, it's yeah. kind of run by guys, but the women are what they're making the money off of. Right, but I think that the way to critique that is not to kind of take this fatalistic view; it's to go in there and change it. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that the advantages to working with a female director—I've never worked with one. I would love to. But the advantages to working with a female director are kind of, I think that they would be more understanding of like um, female anatomy, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like if I'm getting tired. I don't. Well, you know, there are times when, um, you know, with male directors, they'll ask me to like, you know, baby wipe my, you know, oh myself. My. And they don't understand that sometimes it's kind of harmful for your body to do that. Okay, and this is empowering. I'm just getting that out there. You've you've said before that this is an empowering. <laughs> yeah, you know, you, you're a man, so you don't understand this. That's my point. So it's like it'd be great to have more women in there. But okay. um, so you're asking if it was empowering. Right. Right. Um. Yeah. I mean, absolutely. For me, it is empowering. I don't think you know. I've never really made that blanket statement that porn is empowering for all women. I think that empowerment and degradation are completely subjective. Um, things porn for me has been completely empowering and it's um, been liberating and it's allowed me to you know take autonomy and control over my sexuality okay well thank you very much for coming in it's been great talking to you what do you think about bell's decision tell us on twitter at fox 411